Hey there, this is Justin, the Renegade Realtor, and I wanted to do a follow-up to the last um, program that I put up um, on YouTube. And it's about going back to inflation and your self-worth and whether or not you think you're going to be getting enough to pay for a house in your lifetime. Because a lot of people don't feel that way. And I get it. Uh, you know, tying your your self-worth to your income is something that I think everybody does, whether they admit it or not. Some people do it more, some people do it less. You know, hopefully you do it less, but if you're like a lot of people, you kind of do it more than you, you should. So um, I, I just wanted to say, put out some words of encouragement and also talk about the fact that you, you, you do need to get paid more just to keep up with inflation. I know, it's so I, everyone knows that, right? So bear with me please. Um, I, I just, w w one of the things that, um, one of the reasons I do these uh, broadcasts is that I feel like people are, um, they're on their own as far as they, 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 they tie their self-worth to their income. And there's no real forum to talk about it because it's kind of, you feel weird about it. You're, maybe you're ashamed. Maybe you make too much and you feel weird about that. You don't think you're worthy. But most people feel like they don't make enough because they probably don't make much and they feel insecure and it's a big thing you know second to their family it's probably the the number one thing on their mind but you won't see much about that on youtube or anywhere else i think i don't see it i also feel like um we are in a, a well at the moment in california housing there is a uh, a deflationary atmosphere. In other words, home prices are going down, which is deflation. I guess the Fed said they wanted to curb inflation and they did it. Uh, however, that's uh, not the norm. The norm is in an inflationary environment. Uh, the dollar is usually inflating and you have to keep up with that. Uh, I think even if we're in uh, a deflationary uh, situation at the moment, We've been in an inflationary situation for such a long time. House prices have gone up so high that you have to get more money if you ever want to get a house. And you're thinking, you know, if somebody says that to me, I'm like, oh my God, uh, am I worthy? Uh, how, how am I going to do that? I can't do that. Well, um, I would just remind you if, uh, if you go in a time machine back 125 years, um, people will be amazed when you tell them how much you make and how much house prices call, are in you know the future. And if you go 125 years in the, in the future, uh, you, you would probably be, probably be shocked to see how much home prices cost and how much you're getting, your, the average salary is. Uh, it'll probably be stunning to you. Uh, and that's because the, the value of the dollar keeps going down. Um, not all the time, of course. You have you have deflationary moments like you have now. However, I think that's not the norm. And uh, even though you might be relieved to see house prices going down, I think they will go down for a while. But that's another for another episode. Um, you're going to have to make more in this economy, or in you know in the economy of the of the history of the country you know uh not just this economy not just now but generally speaking you need to be figuring out how you're going to keep up with inflation right i mean i'm sorry if this is obvious you maybe you've already tuned out <laughs> but i i think it's worth talking about it, it, mo more so in the in the sense that how are you going to do it and how are you going to get the self worth to either retrain ask for more demand more change jobs because it, it's scary Right, and you lose that job because you were fighting for more, um, then you feel pretty dumb. So uh, I, I want to encourage people to, um, you know, look in the mirror and tell yourself you're beautiful, and give yourself permission because nobody else will. And uh, high five it. I know somebody, some person that I was watching on YouTube talking about you know, high-fiving the mirror. I wrote a book about it. Can't remember her name at the moment. But, um, you know, what what can be done? I, I wish there was, I wish this could be more of a topic of conversation in the United States. I wish every American could have 
a sense that yes, they're worthy and they belong here and they need to make uh, a living wage because so many people don't. And I mean, there's a, you know that's a long and a conversation that could go on forever. I, I know it's it's too big uh, to get into now, but I just wanted to encourage people that uh, the the inflation is a mysterious thing, and I think about it all the time. I'm fascinated by it because um, uh, the you know people always say oh inflation is going up. I prefer to think in terms of infl it, it, the value of the dollar is going down. I mean when house prices keep going up or if they go up at all. That means the value of the dollar is going down. And I don't, and if the economy says, well, it's not that simple, I don't really care because the fact is that's a kind of inflation. It may not be the only kind and it may not be the only factor. Of course, it's not the only factor, but it's a big deal, especially if you're trying to buy a house. And what you've seen in the last few years is this incredible upward spiral of home prices, which is inflation. Now we have a, a deflationary, uh, uh, period that we're into now in at least in some cities most of most of the west coast is in a deflationary um real estate situation so uh but but don't i i would just encourage people to, to encourage people to keep in mind that uh it's not going to last and it, before you know it house prices will be going up again and i hope you will have figured out your finances. I know it's scary and it's tough, but um, I, I just want to encourage people to uh, to care about themselves, to like themselves, you know, to love themselves, to find that self-respect, to say, yeah, I need more money for this and to demand it. Because uh, I think, the, you know, one of the things about inflation I think is so funny is people talk about like, oh, they're concerned about, you know, um, they're concerned that they have to raise wages. Well, what's wrong with weight, raising wages? The dollar's not as worth as much, so it shouldn't, it's the same, six of one, half dozen of the other. I find it really frustrating that um, you rarely hear about uh, the, 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 the positive side of inflation, which is your wages go up. Uh, again, it's like if you went back in time and you, people wouldn't believe it. Well, your wages went up too. I mean, yeah, everything else, everything, the, 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 because of the value of the dollar, dollar declined and they had to print more of them. The more they print, the more the value declines. So it's unfortunate that inflation is a thing that um, it, it's, it seems to be just part of life, which is there a way to make it not happen? I don't know. I think the federal government knows that they have to um, inflate the dollar. They have to devalue the currency slightly in a controlled way so that um, they can continue to spend because they don't make enough from tax revenue to do the spending that they, they, that they do. So, so I think what we're seeing is a kind of controlled uh, devaluation of the currency, which is what they've done many times before. You could argue they're always doing it. Uh, and, and by raising interest rates to control uh, inflation, I think what they're really doing is just trying to manage it better, manage the devaluation better than um, than they've been doing, just to slow it down. But they know, I, I think they know what they're doing and they have to do this. And it's, I, I, it would be wonderful if there was a different way to run the economy. And maybe there is, but uh, what we're seeing now is unfortunately, I think intentional. But you have to, as an, as an individual, you have to adjust to it. And I, you know, I can't tell you what you're gonna have to do. I don't know how you got to where you are now, but uh, if you're if you're trying to get a, a house and you're trying to get a loan and you can't qualify because you just don't make enough, um, yes, you're going to see prices come down on houses. You're seeing it now, but then sure enough, they're going to go up again. So uh, as far as affording a home, it's a it's a killer, isn't it? It's tough because you feel bad about yourself when you can't afford a home, even a modest home, you know. Uh, and uh, I just want to encourage you to. Uh, to, uh, to feel good about yourself. For, find that space where you, you know, you're looking at your income and you're not being destroyed by making less than you think you should make. And it's, it, look, I think that's the toughest thing in the world to do. But I think this, the first thing is just to be aware of it and, and work on it every day. And that's what I do. And, uh, and keep on keeping on. 
and I look forward to, uh, to more later with you. Please comment. Tell me what you think about all this. Have a great day.